right, guys, this is our gigantic order of um, courses that came to our distributor from FedEx. Uh, I'm actually not sure what's in here, so I just wanted to open up some of the boxes to confirm. This is the 1730 AQHA American Quarter Horse. So I'm going to leave him alone because that's what his case says. Um, this is what I was curious about is 62051. I looked up the product number and it says that 62051 is fourth wind, but I was told that fourth wind was out of stock. So I'm curious to see who was in here. We did order fourth wind, but I don't think uh, they were able to fill our order on them. I'll be really super excited if they were though, because uh, fourth wind has been a very uh, popular horse, or shall I say unicorn. This obviously is not a full case because it has a uh, bubble from the top and it looks like definitely not fourth wind. What we have here is um, this cute little tractor playset. Really cute little llama and a bull and a goose and a horse and a tractor and a cowboy and a dog. Very cool. Definitely not fourth wind. Bummer. Let's see what this other 62051 box is. Our distributor has been really good about packing these boxes. Um, they used to come just kind of shrink wrapped on a pallet and now they put them into this product tray box. Um, and they also have been very good about providing uh, additional pack packaging. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the inside of the box is layered with uh, air bubbles to help cushion the horses. Because briar boxes can be really super fragile. And this one, oh my gosh. Holy crow, look at this. This is actually fourth wind. So I'm super excited because we were down to our very last fourth wind. We're thinking, oh my gosh, what are we going to do now that we're out of fourth wind? This has been so popular. So, oh, awesome. We have a couple fourth winds. It's fantastic. Okay, I'm really excited. That means I can actually put them back in stock on the website because I pulled them out of stock on the website because I thought we were out of stock. So, see what else we can get open here. Um, a lot of this stuff is uh, horses that we don't typically carry. We ordered a lot of little sets, uh, play sets and craft sets that we wouldn't normally carry um, in anticipation of them being um, potential sales items for the Western States Horse Expo. And during that time period of when we placed this order and we're ordering for the Western States Horse Expo, we secured our own retail storefront location. And these will also be stored, sold at our storefront location. So that's really exciting. This is, oh, this is cool. These were very popular at Briar West. These are the, um, the Briar Gooseneck truck and uh, horse trailer. It's stablemate scale. And it's really cool. And this is something that we have never had in stock before. You can see this tissue paper is how Briar packs because these boxes are so fragile and they get dinged up so easily. They put uh, tissue paper over the clear plastic, which doesn't want to cooperate with me in this wind. That's for darn sure. There we go. I'm glad we got those. Those will be a lot of fun. And, oops, I forgot to put a piece of cardboard back on the top of that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that these little boxes are trial pals, unless they're stable mates. I heard something jingling around, so I'm thinking maybe these are stable mates. Uh, if you order directly through Reeds, you need to order um, a lot of the stable mates and complete sets. Whereas through our distributor, they let us purchase them uh, individually. This one that we wanted, this is the 603, or maybe 60, no, 5900 Andalusian. You can see they now have new packaging. I um, personally haven't seen this packaging before, but it's a new Briar Blister Pack. And then the other one that we got in stock was this. Um, Red Roan Mustang. He can get be kind of hard to uh, get your hands on. He, I think he's currently sold out of stock on Briar's website. So, very excited to get those. And these other boxes. Oof. I guess that wasn't too heavy. It's a big box, but it's not really heavy. One of the good things about um, these cardboard pallets that FedEx uses is I think if we had wanted to, we actually could have just... Um, taken two, maybe three people and lifted this whole entire box into the trailer. Um, but that wasn't necessary. So in here we have, oh, here's another very popular one. Carlton Lima Emma. Uh, we should be putting her in stock on the website soon too. 
We didn't have enough stock left after Brower West to list her for sale. Uh, but now we do. That's something we don't sell out at the Western Store Stores Expo. I will just put this box back in here so I make less of a gigantic mess, I'll only make some a gigantic mess. I'm kinda, you guys can't see it, but I'm struggling to get these boxes back in here because they're, um, they're surrounded by bubbles and the bubbles are kind of crinkling in on themselves <laughs> and uh, not cooperating. So bear with me, sorry. I'm sure you're enjoying the lovely shot at the back of my head, eh? Now, I don't think we'll actually be taking this outer box to the Western States Horse Expo, so all these will be um, brought in cases anyway, but I'm trying to keep everything organized. Um, Hubby is at the store right now, dropping off the retailing shopping that we picked up, and then I think he's going to load these into the trailer and move them to the store as well. Who is in here? This is someone new too, that I have not seen. Oh, cool. This one is awesome too. It's a stable mate set. Oof. Don't want to ding up the box. It's the animal rescue set. It's pretty cool. Truck and trailer, and it has uh, working lights, and it might have a siren. Um, and I think it has some little accessories too. Very cool. Why we got that? Should be popular. So we're, um, as you know, we're quite last minute. Uh, most people probably would have had their stock, you know, <laughs> weeks ago and be ready to go for the expo, but um, not us. We wait until the last minute. So, one more box. Um, I think these might be more stable mates because I remember ordering more stable mates. And they have some good packing tape on these boxes, that's for sure. Again, more air bubbles, so fantastic. Um, this is, oh, these are the mystery full surprise sets. Um, we ordered the ones with the Grow Your Rainer and the Bay Dungaree, who seems to be the most popular. Uh, these look like new packages to me too, but I could be wrong. I don't recognize these. Uh oh, and now I have to figure out how these were in here because they were puzzled in all so very perfectly and then I took them out and now I don't know how to get them back in. Maybe I have to take these both out put both back in. Oh, wait, wait. It's always like a puzzle packing these. Someone's entire job must be figuring out how to fit these in the boxes. I think these all might be the same. The dungaree and the rainer. And this is the dungaree and the rainer, so I believe these are all the dungaree and the rainers. And then we're down to one last box. have a habit of putting this one razor blade out a bit too deep. And sometimes I nick the top of the box, so I have to try harder to remember not to do that. Hey, but luckily, look, they put cardboard in the top of the box, so I can't do that. Awesome. And these are more um, trucks and trailers. This is the horse crazy truck gooseneck and trailer. It's, again, it's stable mate scale. Very cool. I think it comes with some accessories. Lots of stuff for kids to do. Aside from, oh no, now I forgot this tissue, piece of tissue paper. Aside from the 1730 AQHA quarter horses, um, that is everything that we got in this order. We still have another big freight order that came in already and it's sitting in the store. And that one came directly from Reeves and we have not gone through it and we do not know what's in it. Um, well, okay, we do know what's in it from the invoice, uh, but we did not receive all that we ordered. Now that we have our trucks and 
right back in the house. Okay, let's put the cardboard back where it belongs. And I don't know if you guys will be able to hear me out here. I'm sorry, but it's really noisy and outside, and the neighbors are driving by, and not much I can do about that. But I was thinking if I can get these boxes back in here, and we'll go ahead and we'll open up the 1730 car horses just so we can see what color they are. That's always fun. fourth wind that was not a fourth wind. And you are not going to go back in without me pulling you out. So, we'll just go straight to the 1730 so you don't have to watch me try to puzzle these boxes back into the big box. And this was the uh, 75th anniversary special edition and he came in a variety of colors. Off the top of my head they were bay. Chestnut, um, Bay Brown, Grulia, Palomino, Black. That might have been more colors, but that's all I'm remembering off the top of my head. So what we have here is we have a Bay. He's very popular. A lot of people like the Bay one. He's got gorgeous, gorgeous color. And then, ooh, I have not seen this one before. Super cool. This one is the Palomino. I have not had a chance to see him in person before. He's a pretty light Palomino. Nice color. And then we have a sorrel or a chestnut. This one again, it has really nice shading, popular. Um, Briar did a really nice paint job on these. I know that uh, they're not everybody's favorite mold as far as collectors go. Now you see this one. This isn't uncommon for briars to have these uh, cracks in the boxes, and it's just because the boxes are so fragile. Um, so this guy will have to be sold as damaged box, and he will be offered at a discount. This one is another bay one. Um, one of the things that I noticed with our last shipment of 1730 American Quarter Horses was uh, some of them had eye whites and some of them did not have eye whites. And these have eye whites. So now I'll need to go back and check what our other ones have. And we have another Palomino. Super cool. So I have not seen those before. Okay. So um, I'm just going to get these puzzled back into the boxes. You probably don't want to watch that. So we'll just end the video on here. Thanks so much for watching.